Hi, Cyrus Priest here, back with another Realm Grinder video, episode 92, and you can see I have been slowing down, and I have not been unlocking much in the past few reincarnations, so actually I've been unlocking nothing since the last dragon challenge, so um, I need to change my strategy up, and yes, I looked at the plot, I need to be um, Titan Line Dragless. That, that's the optimal strategy, and people say there's a slowdown in the low to mid 70s and reincarnation numbers. So, yeah, I should probably, you know, become that. So, this is going to be interesting because, well, first of all, I think I'm going Titan Line because of the lineage, which means that no more amazing Druid Line, which means, yeah, and I'm almost going to have to change my strategy up a lot. So, Let's go Titan line. I have to be faceless, which I'm never faceless. I'm not, I'm not sure if I've even grinded the faceless spells to tier 6. I am... I mean, I, I'm not quite sure. I guess I'll just... I'll just max all. Um, I could probably excavate. Yeah. Actually, that doesn't even do much. Okay, that gave me way less than I was expecting. I guess I can start grinding spells here. I mean... Brainwave, though, I don't know. I don't really like Brainwave much. But, yeah, I guess I need to make the whole new build. So, well, S500 is a must. I need this additional mana regen. Um, this could be decent, but there has to be some better stuff. Like, I need, I need to be a dragon first before I actually start researching the things and I just need unfortunately I don't get a lot of these coins actually maybe I can start um, no not even casting all my spells does it okay then maybe I can excavate for it just like just this once so I can actually you know plan my build out so now I can actually choose the dragon stuff. I'm not sure if I want to go unique. I probably want to go unique buildings because Wormstone is already 99.9% and this is a 100 times production bonus. So, yeah, that's probably good. This is it's basically the amount of active spells. So I just manually cast my spells. Um, what is this? That's about a 6 times production bonus. That's good. Um... There is this, but it may be useful because of how little mana regen I'm getting. But maybe there's something else as well. I'm not sure. Um, I know this is kind of weak. This is okay, but not the best. 61% probably is better. Um, this is completely useless because it's not higher building tiers. Dur spell duration may be useful because of how little mana I'm getting. But I'm not going to Go for it yet. Um, Sucken cities are useless. This is just 22%, 12%, um, 27%. Um, oh, it's this one. 144% is a little better, but um, this is just max mana, and I don't really see a reason to go max mana. I, I want to know if this is good. Maybe I'll just switch to other ones here so production of all buildings that looks good except it's going down for some reason why is it going down my max mana isn't decreasing my production bonus from gems is increasing a higher boost for lower gem bonus that's really weird so it's almost like the challenge reward is a penalty okay well i know there's some there's some ones I really want to get. Like, there's... There is this multiplicative 330% boost. Which is likely worth it. But I want to get some faction coin ones. Like this. This is... I know there's some really good faction coin ones. Um, is, is this the best? This is probably the best. I don't want I don't want to get, like, offline in this reincarnation. I've already spent a day offline in this reincarnation. And this is only that so this is way more worth it to get and i'm not really sure what else i want to do here i think
think it is a little bit better to, you know, get this instead of that. And it's based on max man. It's this is one of the most complicated things. I'll just go to simpler ones like this. That is a must. Um, isn't like aren't these pretty useful? I'll, I'll look at the obvious ones right now. Um, these aren't obvious. This is a other buildings thing that I don't really want. Is there anything obvious in here? No. Um, maybe. Okay, so this yeah, this is gonna be a really tricky one. I guess I can just buy upgrades here, and well, I, I still need more faction coins if I want the lineage. So, I, isn't there like a really good mana regen one like somewhere in here that I should get? I'm, I'm, I'm not. I I I swear there is a good mana regen one, like somewhere in here. Not no, it was, it was like thousands or something. Oh, it's this one. I can't get this one for some reason. Ouch. Okay, that means my... I think it is really worth it to get... Um, <clears throat> no, not this one. I think it is really worth it to get S1275. Because things are going to cost a lot of mana. And I'm not getting a lot of mana per second. Like, I know that Spiritual Surge costs, like... I mean, I guess I can, you know... Um, I can do the export my save thing, just just see if the research is good, like, is this, um, did it even do anything, I need to cast it, I mean, this, this is using less mana, I don't know, maybe it's not worth it, maybe it's just, gets, I probably just want to get spell duration, um, and doing that will allow me to, hopefully, I don't know, maybe, I don't think S1275 is worth it, I really don't know what is the best to go for. There's not a, not obvious choices here. Like, the, the choices are really... Um, there, there is increased production of all... It's 134%. That's probably worth it. I don't know. This is going to be my first iteration of this build. It's not the best build ever, obviously. Um, this is just 444 assistance. I don't think I need that. Probably just gonna want this. This actually does not get nerfed, so I will get that as well. And I don't really see anything else that looks. I, oh wait, unique buildings. I probably want to get that. That did nothing. Oh, it's based. It's, it's a re. It's based on time spent, but it's a reincarnation thing. I don't know. This, there were not a lot of good ones anyway. Could just get a mana regen one. This one's kind of useless. This one's completely useless. This one's okay. It's a 46%. That's probably worth it. <laughs> Man, this just doesn't like. How is this better? I don't. I don't get it. How is this? It has to be something that's good here. Double the duration of faction spells. I really want that. How much am I gonna want that? I'm. I, I guess I. I guess I'll go for it. Maybe this is where spell duration actually becomes useful. Um. Here's a um. Faction coin fine chance thing, but it's not more. It, it's not even multiplicatively. This is. You know, this is probably worth it. <clears throat> it's at least doing something. Um, no, probably want this. Oh yeah, of course, that's a really good one. And then, maybe this, even just 50% of production bonus could be really good here. Because there's not a lot of good ones. So I'll get this. this well, it doesn't do anything until I actually do Spiritual Surge. Um, maybe, I don't know what I should get. I'll just get this one, and... Move on to the E branch. 174% um, is usually worth it, so I'll get that. Um, mana regen. Maybe I should get some of these mana regen things. Um, this is a 77 production bonus. 
It's decent. I should probably get some kind of faction coin thing. Um, maybe there's better ones though. So um, this one's usually worth it. Could get E290. Um, I probably actually want this because I'm Titan line, and actually more importantly, this lineage that's going to increase Royal Exchange bonus. So. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not sure how good this is going to be, but I feel like it's, it could be the cornerstone of this entire build. So, and then there's this as well. I guess I can get that. I mean, that gets me Exchange High Lord, which is a trophy I I need to get, apparently. I, don't, I mean, maybe it's worth it to get this, or maybe it's not worth it. I don't know. I'll just get it, because I think it seems like a Royal Exchange is, is pretty important here. So... What is this? Useless. 81%. That's not bad. Good assistant one. That's... I'll get that. 108 mana regen. That could be nice. This is only 41%. So maybe I can skip it. This is kind of useless, I think. Because of the challenge reward. Um, this is not great. Oh yeah, A or A four hundred. That's one of the best ones. Offline production, multiply increased mana regen. It's not bad. There's this and this. I I probably want to get some mana regen stuff. So like this, and space on excavations. I have like a middling amount of excavations right now. So I'm not quite sure if this one oh eight or. 70 like this like if I go go get more excavations I could become a better strategy I'll just buy all these upgrades right now I could probably actually finally get the lineage so that allows me to start purchasing this I can start getting the perks choose remove one ascent remove one ascension penalty from Titan bloodline okay isn't that just the um oh yeah, that, that's nice. Yeah, it probably is worth it to get those Royal Exchanges. Like, probably is a good idea to get E1325. I'm still torn between these two. I'm just not sure which one's better. I'll probably... Look, there's... This is an Ickroll over time thing. This is just... If I have good excavations, like a good mana regen. I'm like... I'm gonna... I'm gonna experiment a little bit. I will... I will export my save and max my excavations now how high is this 136 this is still leaving me torn i probably this is better but um, i'm just gonna import because i you know i didn't mean to actually get the excavations i, I just wanted to do it for testing purposes this is probably a better choice so i'll get that i can also get that is well. Also, it's a very weak upgrade. I shouldn't have gotten that in the first place. Actually, it's weak enough that I'm gonna just import um, again. So just don't get either of those upgrades. That is a better choice to make. This is based on time spent playing with other factions. Is that worth it? Maybe I should just get a 100% faction coin bonus. Duration of all spells. Eh, yeah, I'll get that. Why not? That's 400%. That's like five times duration of all spells. This one looks good. And, okay, that's it for that branch. Finally, the W branch. Um, just the multiplicative 200% here is worth it, I think. I don't think I need more spell duration at this point. I have an hour-long brainwave, and everything else is like minutes long. So, I don't want to get that. This is decent. I don't really need max mana. This is useless. What is this? Oh yeah, this one usually is worth it. Yeah, oh, yeah that's worth it. Definitely. This is a... Wow, I have a lot of assistance. I, did, I didn't realize. Is it like... I don't even know what's doing that. Um, 59%. This is 86. So, this is based on excavations. Ex based on excavations. And then... Three highest building tiers, that's worth it. Because Worms Den counts as that. Um, I 
don't really think... Yeah, that's not... I probably just want to get this, and then... Don't need 95 assistance when I have 20,000. And then I'll just get, like, this. And that will be the first iteration of the build. So, <clears throat> I'm going to save this. Or no, not... I need to save this as... A1R66. I know, I'm just doing it based on the reincarnation I make the build. I know you, you can make this an R55, but an R66, so that's what I'm going to do. And also, it's... Actually, it's also based on the lineage, so... Um, Titan Line Dragless Build. Export, and there we go. This may not be the best build ever, but... It's at least something. And you also get the new effect, which is... Each time you collect faction coin... No, that's... I don't think that's a, that's a new effect at this point. Probably just, <clears throat> yeah, still the cold, sorry. But I guess I'll just get buildings. It seems like this is a better build, considering I think I'd only get up to like E63 gems. Also, oh, I, I see why his spell duration can be good. It's because of this. <laughs> this spell just gets overpowered. And I have gotten six tiers of this, so I don't even need to grind any more spell tiers. I guess, I don't know what to do now. I probably just want to max excavations because I want to try to get more lineage levels. I want to, yeah, 15. Um, oh, it's the, isn't that the, that the weird lineage challenge thing? Produce at least 25 mana per second as a pure titan. I guess I can do that, like, next episode. Also get these. I, I get all the way up to 17 again. That's, like, the... Standard, basically. So, I mean, this is... Oh, E69. I thought I saw E66. Is it really... I don't even know what's doing. It's, it's probably just the combination of all it. Oh, yeah. Dragon's Breath 5. That's probably what's doing it. Plus, like, Spiritual Surge 6. So, yeah. I guess I can, you know, go from E61 to E70 gems. And then I can at least get to, like... Reincarnation, if, if this is getting me 9 ores of magnitude of gems, I should be able to get as much as like E79, E80 gems, which that gets me up to like Reincarnation 69 or even 70. So that's what I guess the optimal strategy is. Like I can, I can just try one run, just like a normal run of this, see how this goes. I have, I have to... I have to actually consciously select faceless, which is weird. I can just get these. Load A1R66. That's basically how I'm going to remember the build. Actually, before I do that, I need to reset my excavations and I have to get, I always forget to do that for some reason. And then I can, you know, do a normal run. I just want to see just how a regular normal run to get gems goes and next episode i'll focus on that lineage challenge so yeah i'll get i'll grab this this probably gets me enough faction coins to probably just need to tax i need to manually tax collect that's gonna be an annoyance but then i can keep doing this get the rest of the things get dragon's breath going and well I need to do some waiting, unfortunately. I can just get some excavations just to, you know, get some stuff here. All the way up to Dragon's Breath 5. This mana regen is going to be a big annoyance. Like, I should probably just manually cast some stuff. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how good, like, that's going to be. But, well, we're up to E72 gems, so... I feel like that's a success. Maybe we can even get enough buildings to get the trophy. Yep, there we go. The, it's this trophy I've, I was <clears throat> trying to get for a long time. I needed 125,000 buildings. I also can get some of those 12,000 buildings trophies, which is pretty cool. Like, I can get... I, I can definitely get this. Um, I'm close to the blacksmith. Here we go. Have I not... Have I already gotten the blacksmith one? I've already gotten the blacksmith one. Weird, but... At least there's a, there's a few more trophies. And 
especially if I keep getting more gems, I'll be able to get way more than this. So, yeah, I guess this is how a normal run's gonna go. I'm also getting close to this upgrade, which is kind of nice. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank you.